me, Manny, and today we are doing still um, the challenge of turning um, emojis into characters. And this time, this is Torn Lee that, wa that was inspired by um, the masked emoji. Um, a piece of cubic ice, cube ice piece thingy, and a rose. Um, getting those emojis kind of made me think about somebody that was hiding their emotions, um, and that is being mean and cold to hide how scared they are um that was it was the case because of the whole rose with its torn which is where torn tor torn name comes from and the ice which can uh like help you cool off but can also hurt you same with the rose that is pretty but can hurt you so i was like okay uh this is what we're gonna do and then came the time to turn this into a character and i started by looking at designs of uh like t-shirts with cool rose design with thorns and such and uh i Reference that for the shirt. Um, then I was like, he's gonna wear layers, lots of things for cold weather. Even though it's probably not cold weather, he just wears that all the time, and he always, well, not always, but he almost always has his mask off to hide his face and make it more hard for you to understand what he's feeling and then uh i gave him i uh, uh um two half two the two sides being um razored that one doesn't make any sense uh you can see what his hair looks like, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> no, he looks like sense, but as a human, <laughs> this is what I meant by the uncanny, uh, <laughs> design, he kind of looks like sense if you kind of fucked a bit with his color palette, <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about it. It's odd. He looks weird. <laughs> but I kind of like it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm like, what? <laughs> that's that's kind of weird. But that I guess it kind of makes sense, because I'm an Undertale fan, and I kind of had Undertale on the mind with the previous character design of Wazora, so maybe I was still having Undertale in the back of my head when I did this and then I got him and I was like, oh lord, what have I done? <laughs> he has long sleeves, you can only see his fingers. He he does look like sense. I kinda wanna make an alternative color palette where he just says, look at him, look at this boy, he just looks like sense. It's it's uncanny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Turnley is one of the people I think that is, um, that is, uh, in, that got into the center because of trauma. Uh, I think I'm gonna make him have that supernatural power that, uh, the, uh, the, um, Words, words, uh, the um, um, dystopian society like uses as like to for other people's benefits and kind of don't care about their own existence. 
and he's administered uh, into this uh, illegal facility center thingy. Uh, and Eloise uh, tries her best to help him, but he kind of doesn't want to be helped because of this uh, society that told him that he doesn't matter. And so he puts this cold mean uh, outside so that people leave him alone to rot or something. That's what I'm imagining right now. Still work in progress. The story is, is being thought out now, so I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Um... Yeah. Um, once I'm done with uh, the coloring, uh, I'm gonna do like two doodles like usual. One where he looks sad and he doesn't have his mask so you can see his nose more properly. And one where he looks mean like he just told you a big insult so that you are you leave him alone to rot or something. Uh, I don't have much more to add. I think I said everything. Don't think there's more to him at the moment. Because like I said, I, I'm making this up as I go. I'm still thinking of the story. By the way, I'm not sure why. But the story is called... Um... It's called I don't <laughs> Sakaku Kowazu, which means break the illusion. I don't know why I decided that this would be Japanese. Uh, the title I usually have English titles, uh, even when it's called f when it, the story is in French. So this I'm used to, but I'm not sure why I made it Japanese. I'm not even sure if I pronounced it right, honestly. Uh, I'm confused, but I guess that's what it is. Um, do I have anything to add? Uh, I liked those lines in green first, but now I kind of miss the blue ones. I don't know. Kind of looks. Uh, blind because of how light his eyes are, but he's not blind, it's just, it's probably just my mind thinking back to Snowdrop from my Little Pony fan, uh, work. Or something, I don't know. But yeah, then we have the two I talked about. And this is actually the next to last character I made. So the next one will be the last. So uh, afterwards I still have to uh, art um, drawing of the two ships I talked about. And then this series is over for now. Maybe I'll do more like... I'll do background characters another time if you like the series and you requested other emojis. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, also something I need to think is if I ship him with the next character. Because I can kind of see it but at the same time I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't know. <laughs> he looks like Sans. I don't know if I want to shape him with the other character. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go back to editing now while listening to True Crime or something. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye. Take care.